I just remember my dad was there and he told me something, it wasn't anything profound, he just told me that he believed in me and that he knew that my time was coming and that life is hard but for every, for every down there's an up and that he knew, he knew and he was so confident, he was so loving, he knew that my time was coming and it was within a month I met Nick, I filmed a viral video at the Sun Valley event and, and the rest is history. From experiencing homelessness and living out of a car to achieving his dream of owning a magnificent mansion, making his parents proud, amassing a mind-blowing supercar collection, and staying out of controversies, the Stradman's life journey is a testament to unwavering determination in the face of adversity. He didn't surrender when times were tough. This is the remarkable life story of the Stradman. Um, oh, a Lamborghini LM002, the Rambo Lambo, you know, the SUV from the late 80s. I think those things are so sick. I would just have like a warehouse with a loft and then just, it would be filled with supercars as far as the eye could see. That would be, yes. I bought a second LM. I bought two Lamborghini LM002s, Rambo Lambos in one week. There's only 328 of them in the entire world and I own two of them. What? Oh my gosh, what? What? That's crazy. I genuinely cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. I mean, what? What? <laughs> When you think of Lamborghini owners, you might picture CEOs or doctors, but there's one individual who defies these stereotypes in a way that may surprise you. Meet James, better known as The Stradman on YouTube. He not only owns multiple Lamborghinis, but boasts an impressive collection of high-end luxury cars. And here's the twist, he's not a doctor or a corporate executive. James's journey is a unique one, and it's not something you'd learn in college. Like his jaw-dropping supercar collection, the Stradman's YouTube presence continues to skyrocket. He's a creator who's living the dream. The Stradman, named after the Ferrari 430 Stradale, creates captivating YouTube content centered around cars. It's an extraordinary profession that some might deem a joke, but it affords James the luxury of owning cars that turns heads on the street. However, the road to success wasn't always smooth for the celebrity YouTuber. In fact, he once faced more significant challenges than most. But through his inspirational journey, he found success through his passion for cars. The Stradman's journey began with humble origins. After leaving college, James pursued a job that wasn't his dream but a starting point. It didn't take long for him to realize that he was being paid less than less skilled individuals. He thought of threatening to quit the job, hoping for a raise that never came. Instead, he was let go from the job. This might have seemed like a tragic outcome, but it was the catalyst for his transformation into one of the world's most fortunate supercar owners. With no job on the horizon, James turned to YouTube, armed with his 2002 Audi TT. The Stradman headed to California to film rare and exotic cars for a living. Though vlogging about living in his car might have been more interesting, he decided to focus on filming Bugattis, Lamborghinis, and other exotic vehicles. He had no idea that vlogging in his life would change everything. From living out of his car to owning Lamborghinis, Stradman's life had hit rock bottom. He was practically homeless, living in his car and making only a few dollars a day. His diet consisted of bread and off-brand soda, and he relied on free McDonald's Wi-Fi to upload his videos. Then, his car broke down and he couldn't afford the repairs. Most people would have given up, but not James. He ordered the part and fixed the car himself, determined to keep going. After all these struggles, James decided to take on a steady hotel job, doing graveyard shifts. With the extra income and vacation days, he attended some of the world's most prestigious automotive events, such as the Gumball 3000 Rally. Throughout it all, he never gave up on YouTube and his dreams. Things started falling into place when the Stradman secured a new job as a cost accountant, thanks to his then-boss and now best friend, Nick Berlacher. Later, he also lived with Nick Berlacher for quite a while. With a substantial income boost, 
James began to rebuild his life, he made the daring choice of buying a 2006 Lamborghini Gallardo. Despite having an average job, he invested in a car fit for a CEO, all in the name of his YouTube channel, which was still making very little money. Contrary to everyone's advice, he bought it and resumed camping, this time recording the experience, and to his surprise, it paid off. YouTube started bringing in substantial income. But then, he got laid off. James, the Stradman couldn't afford his Lamborghini, but he persevered. And this determination turned him into one of the most significant automotive influencers globally. He continued to chase the rarest and most remarkable cars. Regardless of the cost, his videos featured supercars and even hypercars like the Lamborghini Veneno, Bugatti Chiron, Ferrari La Ferrari, Pagani and many more. James's story is a testament to what you can achieve when you relentlessly pursue your dream. In the words of Stradman himself, sometimes in life, when everyone's telling you that you can't do it, go prove them wrong. That's exactly what he did. James worked tirelessly earning everything, from global trotting to capturing exclusive footage. Now, with 4.26 million YouTube subscribers, he possesses a unique collection of supercars, a feat that many never achieve. And the story doesn't end there. The Stradman has owned and parted ways with various other cars, including a Ferrari F430 Stradale, the car he is named after, and a Bugatti Veyron. The lesson we can all learn from James is simple. If you truly want something in life, go after it.